What's up, Internet? My name is Matt Gisantana. Welcome to the office where we discuss tech and the world around it. Today, I have my 2020 photographer, Everyday Carry. This is something that I use on a day-to-day -day basis for my photo shoots, as well as videography shoots and my YouTube. So you're getting a wombo combo here. You're getting everything that I use to create and a little bit of my everyday carry. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. I got a lot of products to cover. Everything will be linked down in the description just in case you wanna look them up. They are affiliate links and it is very appreciated if you guys purchase through those links. It helps support the channel and helps me make more content for you. So let's start with the bag itself. I'm going to flip it over to the front so you can take a look at it. Uh, this is the Wondered Provoke 31 liter. Uh, this is the green color. I have had this for about a year now and I have used it for every photo shoot. This is currently my mother of all bags. It's the bag that I jam all my gear in so far. I have lots of stuff into it, um, but let's go ahead and go around the external of the bag and show you some of the features. Starting on the shoulder pads, which are very important to me in my back because um, I have back issues. So uh, this has a lot of padding, which is also very protective of a laptop case which is uh, inside here and also the padding is very breathable so you don't have to worry about it sweating or you know when you're on a hike or something like that it's very comfortable to wear and very firm on the inside of the back part you have a nice little slot here for some you know items you can put i keep the camera camp token that i got when i went to camera camp I keep a pen just in case I need to write something and I keep my phone, uh, which is currently the Z Fold 2 5G. Uh, this typically stays in the bag on a photo shoot because I have my wallet in my back pocket, of course, and then I have, you know, this in my pocket, sometimes, you know, both in the same pocket. This is, I'll talk about this later, but that's normally why I keep my iPhone with me so I can snap a photo or do like an Instagram story while I'm on a photo shoot. Um, so I keep my, my fold back here. So let's go ahead and start on the sides. So right here on the right side of the bag, you have a little clip here to attach things. You also have an expandable slot that can, you know, expand for a water bottle or umbrella, or I use it for a tripod sometimes. I'll run my large tripod up here and strap this to my tripod. Works very good there. So it's a pretty versatile bag. I, I use it for, you know, mostly photo shoots, but I also can take it on day trips uh, with the family uh, for going, you know, hiking or something like that. Uh, right here on the side, you're going to see an entry to the bag itself. And that's where you get right into the camera. And I will show you a top town view of that when we get to that part of the, the video. So right here on the outside, I have a Peak Design capture clip. Uh, this is where I can attach my camera while I'm not using it. Maybe I need to move the talent or I need to get adjustment or I need to just travel somewhere. I can always attach my camera there fully kitted up so I can quickly grab it and start shooting again. It's pretty dope. All right, let's go ahead and open up this bag. Um, it has this roll top that is expandable. So you can expand it out to get the rest of the leaders and that leads you right into the top, which is like a duffel style. So let's go ahead and close that back up. You also have these two handles right here that are magnetic, they attach to each other so you can grab it and hold it this way or you can obviously tuck it under this strap and keep it secure that way. I do that to kind of lock it down whenever I don't want people into it. And you also have a uh, theft proof uh, lock here that you can uh, use to lock up. So let's go ahead and open it up. And this bag has been pretty durable during my time too. I've, I, like I said, I've had it for over a year and it's been very durable. So i um, very surprised with it. So right here in the top part that you saw that would come down from the roll top, I keep my Beats pill. I probably should keep this in a case, but I've had it for so long and it's pretty banged up. But this is like my favorite speaker. I've used it for a very long time. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. So I pretty much hang on to the gear that works and this has worked very well for me. Uh, you can charge up your phone as a battery bank, of course, you know, 3.5 as well as a lightning charger. That's where you use to charge the phone. Um, this works great on photo shoots, you know, to kind of set the mood, get the talent excited, you know, stuff like that. So, you know, good thing to have. Let's go right here. So right here uh, from the side pocket, as you saw, you have access right here to the Canon 
EOS R. This is the camera that I primarily use to shoot my videos on here on YouTube, as well as my workhorse for my photography and videography business. So I've shot weddings with this. I've shot photo shoots. I've shot, you know, events. Uh, I love this camera. Um, I purchased a couple accessories to kind of make it work for me. I have this cage that is great for hybrid shooters like myself, photo and video. It's very comfortable in the hand. Also, most importantly, it protects your investment. I just told you, I use this for YouTube and my photography and videography business, so I need to protect this. This, this case is pretty expensive, but you are getting a lot of protection and a lot of options. Uh, Small Rig makes one, but I prefer the 8 Sin one because of the handle and the grip. I feel like this is way more comfortable to hold in the hand than the other ones. Other than that, I have the Peak Design clips here that I attach to the neck strap, and that is one of my favorite accessories that I will cover a little bit later too in the video. Um, and at the bottom here, I have a mount. This is a Peak Design adapter that goes with my tripod mount, which I believe is like a Manfrotto RC2 uh, tripod, so I had to get an adapter from peak design for that so yeah this is my eos r and we'll get to the lenses a little bit later uh definitely purchase screen protectors for the top screen and this screen right here i got some on amazon i will link those in the description um once you put those along with this cage you really you really feel like this camera is you know very durable and that helps you be more creative so protect your gear man you know this is your your, your baby protect it all right uh, next, let's go to the lenses. Right here, I have the 35 1.8, and I tell you right here, this is my favorite lens that I've have. Uh, I've used the 70 to 200, I've used the 85, I've used the 24 to 70, um, I've used lots of lenses. This one right here, I love the most because of its size, uh, also its accuracy and focusing and the creamy, creamy bokeh that you get out of it. Uh, it's just a great lens, very fast, and it's macro. So some of the videos that you've seen on this channel that are closely shot together, this is it right here, this 35 millimeter. So if you have a Canon EOS R or RF Canon camera, definitely check out this lens. Uh, my other lens, which I mostly use for video on YouTube, uh, the other lens is mostly for photography. This is mostly for video. This is my baby, my 15 to 35, and man, oh man. This is what I shoot pretty much all my YouTube videos on in the last, you know, several months with um, this. And I have the uh, Peter McKinnon Polar Pro ND filter on it with this Ultra RFS system, rapid system. And this allows me to pretty much go from video to photo in a heartbeat. You know what I mean? I can just do what I got to do. It looks wonky. It looks overkill. It kind of looks a little goofy. I'm not going to lie. Um, but I have been using this for a while now and it's actually worked very well. Like I said, if I need to keep my frame rate and shoot in bright sunlight, I can use this to adjust. And this is why, so I can have these attached and when I'm shooting in photo mode, I can hit the record button. It will shoot to my C3 and my video settings, which will be a nice like 1080p and I will basically be shooting video. If I have this up and I'm shooting photo, all I gotta do is flip this down and hit record. Boom, I'm shooting really, really nice video. And if I need to go back to photo, I flip it back up again and then I you know, go back to shooting photos. Pretty clever. Uh, I'm all about workflow and being efficient. So as you can tell, you know that's just how I move. But definitely recommend the 15 to 35. It is, I think the one lens that you gotta have if you have a EOS R or RF camera and you're doing video. I mean, you gotta have this lens. Comes with this nice little suede and leather uh, padding uh, container. Uh, I use this a lot to keep it protected. This is an expensive lens, so you know what I'm saying? I keep it face down towards the bottom where most of the padding is to keep it protected. Right here to the left of the 15 to 35, I have some microfiber cloths. I have the Peter McKinnon one, and I have a extra one that I have. I use that to, you know, wipe the devices down, wipe the lenses down, anything like that. Have a lens cleaning kit, blower, you know, airbrush, some liquid for lens cleaning solution, all that jazz. Right here, I have the Nomad uh, USB-C and Lightning and Micro USB Universal cable. Uh, it is extremely short, so it works great with portable chargers. You know, just charging gear also doesn't take up much space. Highly, highly recommend this thing. It's super durable 
and man, it's just dope. Uh, this right here is the USB-C cable that came with the Canon camera uh, to basically charge it. So I do have the opportunity to charge this if I need to via a USB ba battery bank if I need to. So yeah. Right here is my battery bank. I have the Mophie uh, power station. I think this is like the double XL, uh, still staple, featured this many times on the channel. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. This is still working for me. I'll continue to talk about the products that work for me because man, oh man, it's hard to find something you can stick with. Pelican case, you've seen this before. Uh, very, very durable. This is the reason why a lot of footage is saved. These cases right here. You never know when your stuff can get wet. I highly recommend something that's waterproof. I see a lot of people using the sleeves. I don't trust them. I don't trust them. Also, I have a Tripolo tracker. This is a GPS tracker, Bluetooth tracker. It allows me to track my SD cards just in case I lose it. If it's in my bag, that means I'm tracking my bag. If somebody takes my bag or I lose my bag, I can track my bag. Boom, boom, boom. Get you one of these. Save yourself. That is it for the inside of the camera portion of the Wonder Provoke bag. Let me show you a couple other pockets that it has. You have a laptop and tablet sleeve right here. Right here at the bottom is where you could put like a rain fly for the entire bag. Or what I did is I put my Peak Design neck strap right there. So, you know, it's pretty versatile. You can put a some keys down there or something like that if you don't want to lose it um, just a good idea sometimes I may put my wallet down there or sometimes in here right here at the top you have a small little pocket this is where I keep an extra battery and I keep my multi-tool you guys have seen him before senior stabby same old same old 2020 has been a solid year of consistency with my gear because it works and I'm glad that I've been able to find stuff that works reliably uh, right here on the side of the bag there is a little side compartment uh, this is where I keep I can attach things right now I have a little keychain from camera camp camera camp gang shout out to the discord um, and then I have an extra knife. I always keep a knife on you, uh, especially on a photo shoot. I use it to like maybe cut thread on some of the talent if they have like a suit. You know, sometimes you, they get like rental suits from these places and um, you know, you need to cut off some thread. Good idea to have a knife. And also right here in this front pocket is a nice little sleeve area for my mask. And I keep some extra filters in here for the mask. Uh, this is one of the masks where you can kind of change out the filters. Um, but yeah, this is a nice little compartment to like throw some papers in, maybe a trail map, something like that. Very quick access thing. Uh, depending on what you're trying to put in here, you could probably put maybe like a really thin raincoat or something just to make sure you're, you're covered in an emergency. And last but not least, iPhone 12 mini and the Nomad tile wallet. That's all I have, guys. If you guys have any questions, again, everything that I mentioned in this video will be linked in the description. I hope all is well. If you haven't already, please hit subscribe, hit that like button, and drop a comment down below and let me know what product that you saw here today that you didn't know about that you're excited about. Let me know. I'll see you guys in the comments. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Stay up.